Well, that uh, storm came, but it wasn't crazy. We didn't get hit with too much snow, but we got hit with, <laughs> we had a bit of rain. Rain in March. And that is actually, that can be worse for the cattle than uh, too much snow. Oh, I've got a fresh calf. I hope it's okay. Alright. Another half recabbed. How are you doing? Well, that one's pretty fresh. Nice. All right, well, what do we have here? Bull calf. Good job, Mama. We got some curl. Wow, we uh, we had a good run. It's Monday. And uh, we got a lot of bedding to do. The snow and everything came last night. So our bed packs are all pretty gross. But during a storm, typically the cows are going to... Uh, the cows aren't going to hunker down, they're just going to stand right here in the windbreak. And then the bed packs get snow covered. Well, you can tell where they've been standing here. So, and that calf is uh, not very old. It's pretty fresh. So, I'll go into the barn. That cow wasn't even giving us uh, much sign. She wasn't even one that we were bringing into the barn. We had a, a handful of calves yesterday. Again, the barn got really dirty because we kept lots in here. But uh, we had a couple... Hey, how are you doing? I'll let these ones out in the middle. We had a couple more Kowalskis. Get these ones all out of here. We kept a lot of the calves in here. So we've got every pen is full except the maternity pen. Um, I don't even know when some of these calves are born. I'm thinking Friday, but we kept them in here just because of this storm that was coming. So yeah, I think a lot of these pairs, this pair, one, two, three, we have four pair in here, five pair that can all get booted out. This cow calved uh, a Kowalski heifer calf last night. Just after supper. And then at uh, about 1.30 in the morning, uh, <laughs> we had a Kowalski calf and it's full white. What? You want out? Okay. So yeah, it's a full white heifer calf. So, yeah. Let's get these uh, these ones out of here and get them some room. Oh, it's all iced, iced up. Everything is this is gross. Cutie, let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. This way. <clears throat> Come. Let's go. This way. Yeah. 
We've had a lot of our uh, heifers that uh, we bought from Peter Penner. We've had a lot of them calve. That's this one right here. Come on. You can come. Come on. There we go. Take her away. Hey, let's go, buddy. Up we go. Come on. Up we go. Let's go. Stretch it out. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Lots of heifer calves. No. Oh, that one got away. With those cows that have calved over the last couple of days, again, we thought that things would start slowing down, but we had, I think we had four yesterday, four or five yesterday, and we've already had one today. So actually we've had two today because of the, that white one was born at, uh, at two o'clock in the morning. So, but that gets our numbers. We are way more, uh, way more heifers. We got 65 heifers and 57, 49 steers and eight bulls. So we still got to castrate that new one. So 57 males and 65 females. <clears throat> and we only have 20, we have 28 cows left to calve. So yeah, percentage wise, we're still doing very good. We're still over a hundred, uh, one over a hundred. And uh, I don't even remember the last cow that we had to help calve. It seems like it's been a while. A lot of them are dropping on their own and the calves are doing awesome. So we'll see what the birth weight of these these ones all are, but I believe yesterday all of our calves that uh, Daryl processed, <clears throat> uh, they were all right around that 90 pounds. So those are some good weights. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk and check to make sure all the calves are doing good out there. The guys are busy feeding and getting bales ready to do bedding. And I'll just do a quick calf try. Cat check. These, uh, these cows here, they got food, they got water, and uh, it's dry and warmer in here, so they should be loving it in here. So the problem when, uh, sometimes when it snows 
and it's windy and it's miserable the cows will actually stand in one spot and the calves will stay in the shelter and they won't move they won't come out to eat they'll kind of be trapped in you're cute these ones are all doing good they're up and running around but we got uh We got a few in here. Right here. Bah, yeah. Yeah, let's see, make sure they're all, because with this kind of weather, we are, uh, it's a recipe for uh, pneumonia and cows getting sick. So now I just want to make sure that they all get up. These ones are all up. Heads are up. This is the monster that was born. <laughs> He's doing great. She's doing great. Still can't believe that. But yeah, a lot of the calves are, I know uh, people have been making comments about big too, too big a weights. We do push for bigger weights. If I can get a 100 pound calf instead of an 80 pound calf, that's an extra 20 pounds um, and pounds of hay. So we haven't had a lot of uh, deaths. Actually, we haven't had any deaths because of too big. Um, I don't want to go to 120, <laughs> a lot bigger, because that's just harder on the cows. And the cows won't last as long if we put too much pounds. So if we can be in that 90 to 105 pounds for our cows, that's great. I'm happy with that. And if I have to help the odd one, I'm okay with that too. For the most part, I'm not having to help them. So, hey buddy, once they're born, we just gotta make sure that we keep them, uh, hey? You're just snoozing? We just gotta keep them healthy now. So that's this pen. This pen looks pretty good. They all look alert. And that other pen, that looks pretty full. So. Pretty worried this morning that the cows were gonna be all hunkered in there. But it's nice to see that some of them are out running around already. And like I said, we are bedding. We just gotta get to it yet. Looks like the cows had their food already. There, this one's a little bit more full. Make sure they're all good. Hey. A little cough that we don't like to hear. Let's get them running around. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. And then we need fresh straw in here because they'll lay here. The crap here. All right. Who is that? Oh, that's Minnie. Minnie's coughing. I gotta take note of that, and uh, we're gonna have to watch that. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, this one doesn't look so good. Got to remember which one that is. Take note. One forty-one. Hey, because what they'll do is they'll lay in here, and they uh, they're so comfortable they won't even get up to go eat. So, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, get out, go run for a run. Hey, let's go. Come on, let's go. Up, up you go. Oh dear. Hey, let's go. They're all pretty comfy and cozy in here. Let's go, come on. There's the first one that was born right here. He lost, a, she lost a bit of the ears. That's a big calf already. So, okay, let's go. Go for a run. Hey, Miracle. You're doing good. Better to lose ears than be dead. Hey, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this guy doesn't look so good. We're going to have to treat him. Okay. Yeah. 
Yo. 22H, which do you know where she is? Who? 22H? We don't have a 22H. A calf called 149 is on this side. Roll looking steer. Would not what's the number on it? Oh, it'll be in the middle then. Okay. Alright. There, nice weight. A little on the heavy side, 110. That'll do. She's on her own. Calf's a couple days old now. Two days old yesterday? Ah, yesterday. Yesterday. So yeah, 110 pounds. Good job, Mama. Well, just as I said the other day that our weights are coming down. These last two have been uh, up there again. 116 pounds. That's a Kowalski calf. That's the heaviest one we've had off of that uh, bull. All the other ones I've been, in, I think, in that 90 pounds, 90 to 100 pounds. So that white one's a Kowalski too, so we'll weigh it next and we'll see. But again, on her own, the calf's doing good. Kowalski heifer calf. This one was born this morning at 2 a.m. Nice weight. 96 pounds. And it's all white. It's got a little bit of red on the neck and the tail. So we'll see how that comes out as she grows. But yeah, 96 pounds. Process that one. And then I'm just down to uh, I'm just down to that one, that fresh one. Okay, now uh, with that temperature that we've got coming, what we've normally done on this whiteboard is, these are all the cows that are left that are left to calve. And right here, we're gonna write down the calves that we need to watch. So I've written down 141. Uh, probably gonna go check it this afternoon. Sometimes when calves have been sleeping, they get up and they're all kind of dopey and slow. I wanna check it not even this afternoon maybe even now i'll go for a walk just to check them again and any of them that are still kind of dopey and slow then we got uh probably give them a new floor um under the skin that helps them uh fight any uh anything off whether it's respiratory or any infections so if it's got scours we got to give them uh something different so not sure what it is but i'm gonna keep my eye on that cap we keep everything written down on a whiteboard. That's just a good way for us all to know where we can check. Uh, Cause we gotta come in here for our meds anyway. We can quickly write down who we've treated, what we've done and who we're looking out for. So I think the guys are bedding right now. Or they're just about done. I think got one in the middle. Yeah, it's a nice fresh bedding. Calves will love that. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Hey? Serious? There you go. Oh, they can be here. They can scoot through right here. There you go. Okay, so they gotta bed that one. Looks like this one's all been bedded. Fresh dry straw helps them dry off and uh, the main thing with cows and calves is keeping them dry. Hi. Typically when a calf is sick, they're not going to want to come out. They want to stay hunkered in the shelter. They don't want to come out a whole lot. So if that, any ones that are kind of not doing great, if they're staying in here, Cough, cough. Okay, I think that's that 141 back there. So. <sighs> yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna treat it. I don't like it that it's in down. 
So now I cannot do that. Okay, Daryl and the boys were weighing some calves and we got, this is one off a of glossy, this is one of the, it, hopefully it'll be a bull calf for us. Okay, well that calf, that one weighed 100, 180 pounds. So we'll figure out what he, uh, how old he is and how much he's gained, 180. He is born right around 100, he was born at 100? We need to get him tamer. All right, the feet are out. I think the nose is right there. I'm gonna head to the barn. Just to make sure the bag is still intact. And if this is a black calf, <clears throat> kind of hoping it is, it'll be our first that we know of calf born from our bull Kong. So this cow right here was bred either by our Kong bull, which was a, is a semitol, or our Johnny bull, which is a shorthorn bull. So. Alrighty. I got a cow looking for a calf. All right, I'm gonna go in. Right on. Well, you did it. Uh, oh, that's gotta hurt. Decim bull calf. I'll do a quick check. Uh, it's a bull calf. Okay. Uh, that did not take her long. That's a big calf, nice size. Um, <laughs> yeah, that did not take her long at all. So I'm gonna scoot her into this nice clean pen. And uh, yeah, that's a nice way to end the day. So yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We are down now down to 27 cows to calve. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.